Hey everybody, Clayton here with Action VFX, and today I'll be showing you how to composite shells ejecting from a gun in After Effects. We hired high level military professionals to be our actors to make sure this shot was as real as possible. Normally, the dust cover would stay open for this specific rifle, but we wanted to show you the process of it opening and closing since that's harder to fake in post. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. First, let's create the opening for the shells to eject out of. Create a new solid and set it to an almost black color. I sampled a color from one of the shadows on the stock to match the black levels in the scene. Then mask out a hole over the slide for the shells to come out of. Add a directional blur with the angle matching the direction of the slide and turn the blur length to 26. Drop in the 308 Brass Shell 1 clip from the free shell pack available on actionvfx.com. Rotate the shell to line up with the opening and animate the shell flying out. Keyframe the first frame at the ejection point and the last point off screen. Then add a curve to the motion path to simulate the shell being ejected out and gravity pulling it down. Add a curves effect to match the shells to the scene. I raised my blues in the midtones and decreased the red in the midtones as well. Finally, add some motion blur to the layer and make sure it's turned on for the composition. Once you've done this process, you can duplicate the bullet shell and slide mask as many times as you need. Then change the animation path of the shells to add some randomness. This is just one quick and easy technique to add shells in After Effects. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more quick tips and leave us a comment below and let us know what tutorials you want to see next. Until next time, I'm Clayton with ActionVFX.com.